Hi everyone, uh, my name is Dr. Burton and I'm part of the education faculty at Collin College and this year's discipline lead. Um, this short video is going to show you how to import the 2301 and 1301 key assessments and rubrics into your course. So here's one of my courses that doesn't have any students in it. Um, what I'm going to do is go over to Commons and in Commons, instead of filtering through everything here, you can search by uh, my name or you can search by Education Labs. Here's what we're looking for here is the Education Key Assessment and Lab. You can import and, and download, but it's also going to show you a general um, what this course looks like and you can pick and choose what you would like to import. So I'm going to click on import and download and I'm going to insert it into this class. There we go, import into course. And let's come back in here and see if my if it imported into my course correctly. And right here it's showing that the import is being um, done. So one of the things that we updated this year is we updated, we have now have, in addition to our SLOs, we have program level outcomes. And so we will be collecting data on the SLOs and the PLOs with our key assessments. Um, and they are imported as uh, outcomes as well, but we also have revised the rubric to, to remove the PPR standards and uh, remove some of the SLOs that we're no longer collecting data for because we're in a new five-year program review cycle. So let me give this an update and see if it's currently there. It looks like it is. So you'll come to modules and you'll see that all this information imported from there. So we can delete the things that you don't need. We can delete, all right. And this is an old information so we can delete. And then here's the key assessment information. Um, now again, if you're 1301, you're gonna keep these three items and the vision board, that's now something else we are collecting data on. And if you're 2301, you're doing this children's book analysis. Um, so one of the things you wanna look for is with your final submission on the lesson plans, you wanna make sure that not only is do you have the correct updated, which it looks like it is, because here's PLO3, um, and then we have SLOs. This is a long rubric, and I apologize, there's many things we have to cover. But the more important thing is, are, are these down here. You wanna make sure that you can rank these within your courses. So if they're not imported correctly, you will not be able to rank these. Um, and, and that's the information that we need. So that's your first step, is just making sure that these PLOs and the rubrics imported in both places. Some people were having trouble with it uploading to both the low level and the high level. So we're gonna take a look at that and make sure um, and it looks like, yes, once again, this one is correct. Let's check the outcomes. And those are correct. So all done for this first step, if you are in 1301. Let's go ahead and make sure it uploaded for 2301 as well. So here's your children's book analysis. And if we scroll down, yep, there's PLO2 now. And if we scroll all the way down, there are our outcomes, okay? So we are doing a mastery at three, near mastery at two, and one is below mastery. Um, with every single student who submits one of these, you will need to make sure that you're ranking each one of the students based on this mastery, near mastery, and below mastery, but I will create another video that will explain that further. Thanks so much.